We hear it every day, the constant preaching, screeching, and the drums of our ears. The beating testimonies saturating the atmosphere, making every turn of the head a run into a profuse fog of drugs are bad, don't fall into the conformity of the unstable and unconscious youth mentality. Statements proclaiming, become a casualty of love, not a casualty of addiction, and still. We walk the school grounds eavesdropping on the familiar conversations of, yeah, man, I smoked a blunt yesterday and got so baked I could barely keep my eyes open. <laughs> Damn, man, another responds without a look over the shoulder. What does that cost? Our generation has found a sense of pride or dependency rather in drugs. Dependency of an escape of reality, dependency of social acceptance, dependency of popularity. We live jumping on the bandwagon, an epidemical quest for regard, regard that drugs secure. Drugs scream at us in honesty. We learn to understand their scientific disruption to our beings. It is rare that you'll find people approaching drugs completely ignorant to their effects on the human body, or at least unknowing that they are harming. However, the pool is forceful and appeals to vulnerability. Some say happiness and relief. I say chemical imbalance and confusion. Like speaking to a baby. You are the ugliest little thing I have ever seen, aren't you, Papa? You'll never make <laughs> that life now, will you? See, it's the deceit in the voice that allows the infant to find comfort in the tone and delivery, not the words that are being said. It's the promise of happiness and the false creation of joy that makes the infant smile, discovering the beauty in life, not the fact that their own beauty is being questioned. Comparably, drugs, are <laughs> drugs lure you through the hardships of life, relinquishing pain, but they aren't given the title hero, nor is it in their job description to reassure you that when the dose wears off and the oversimplified facade of a haven has dissolved, life won't strike a blow of reality that dims the light at the end of the tunnel. What does that cost? What do drugs cost? A 30 stack of Reggie, $30, an eight ball of cocaine, anywhere between $100, $150. Percocets, a fake injury, a doctor's prescription, and a copay of $10. What do drugs cost? Frozen bank accounts, foreclosure on houses, and repossession of cars. Empty checkbooks and pockets, empty wallets and safes, empty rooms and cabinets, empty tummies and hearts. Fridges longing the companionship of food and children demanding the warmth of shelter. What do drugs cost? For some, the chance of reaching reaching a dream robbed by the disabilities and handicaps that are masked on the children born with birth defects. They lose the opportunity to experience childhood for brotherhood and instead grow to hate. They develop complexes about the way they look and the way they think and it affects the way they feel. They know they are different and it's this difference that hurts them. The ugly difference that drew barriers in the sand at recess in elementary. The barriers that hid them from achieving greatness and fights them to stay. The barriers that held them back from crossing the line but maybe the line needed to be crossed. The constant ridicule builds brick walls of barriers between them and others, the different and the conformed. In a society that disapproves difference, when the gun of difference is aimed at you, you run. Run with hope that you won't get shot. <laughs> run until the bullet pierces your skin, because the injustice, injustice of judgment is not in your favor. Drugs destroy homes like termites, eating away at the foundation until it becomes too brittle, too weak, and falls without warning, leaving prominent evidence of its presence, but neglecting to reside to mend the decaying walls. What do drugs cost? Drugs cause severance of my mother's parental rights. For her, the cost was five children, for us a mother. However, the cost of a mother was paid before we were removed from her custody. With a proof of purchase stamped in the corners of her mind, the mark of the beast, the receipt long and taunting, bruises and scratches imperializing our bodies, claiming areas that wasn't theirs to begin with. We'd knock on the restroom door, aware of what was going on in there, but pleading ignorance, just to speak to her, just to hear her. Open the door, I have to pee. Mommy, what are you doing? Bugging until finally she opened it and the sinful air diffused into our nostrils. Our yearning to see mom was quickly transformed into a yearning for her to go back and rejoice in her high. Who was knocking? We'd point happily at each other, oblivious to what was happening. It's none of your fucking business. And like that, our happy faces melted in terrified expressions with the wish to have played the fifth. What do drugs cost? They cost lives. My father was a victim to this circumstance. On June 7, 2002, he died of an overdose of cocaine. They say medicine's first prescription to pain was a kiss. You would run around as a kid, get hurt, and cry until someone kissed your boo-boo. Then the magic of love emitted from the lips, soaked through your skin and into your blood, making you feel better, or so you believed. I felt the pain he felt as he lay there without movement, still stagnant. I kissed him, an attempt to heal, to heal him, to heal myself. But the coldness of his body and the density of his mass and the roughness of his skin didn't let my magic work. Daddy, let me help you, but he didn't let me help him. So I stand here and ask you to let me help you. Sure, it's just marijuana now. It's natural and harmless. But everything starts somewhere. The man who sits in jail, who used to grab girls inappropriately in middle school, didn't anticipate he'd be sitting here with charges of rape against him. Drugs damage families and claim to be an antidote to pain, but the cost is more than anyone can afford. And to think that it was none of my fucking business, make it your business. Make it a part of you to help someone involved with drugs. Make it your goal to stay away from them. Make it your cost. You may not be able to change things, and I might not. 
and I may not be able to change things, but together we can look forward to rearrange things.